Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Waldo 3 AI, an incredible object detection model built on the YVATE architecture. Whether you're into surveillance, environmental monitoring, or even autonomous navigation, this tool has got you covered. So, let's dive in and learn how to get started. First things first, to use Waldo 3 AI, you'll need to set up your environment. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. Make sure you have Python installed on your system. Once that's done, install essential libraries like TensorFlow or PyTorch. If you're new to this, you can do it quickly using PIP. Just type a couple of commands in your terminal and you're good to go. Next, you'll need the Waldo 3 model itself. You can download it from its official source, like a GitHub repository. It's always a good idea to ensure you're downloading from a trusted source to avoid any hiccups. Once you've got the model, the fun begins. Now, let's talk about the images you want to analyze. High quality images are key here. The clearer the images, the better the detection results. Gather some images you want to work with, whether it's aerial photos for environmental research or snapshots for security purposes. Once you have your images ready, load up the Waldo 3 model using a simple Python script. Don't worry if you're not a coding expert. The process is straightforward and there are plenty of resources available online to guide you. When you run the model, it processes your images and highlights the detected objects. It's fascinating to watch how quickly it works, giving you insights almost immediately. You'll see objects marked clearly, which is incredibly helpful, especially in professional applications. For example, in surveillance, you can monitor public spaces and enhance security operations. If you're into environmental studies, you can track wildlife habitats or even observe urban development trends. For those in the autonomous vehicle industry, this model can help identify potential obstacles and make navigation systems smarter and safer. Here's a tip to get the most out of Waldo 3 AI. Experiment with the model's parameters. Small tweaks can significantly impact the detection accuracy. Don't hesitate to try out different settings to see what works best for your specific use case. It's all about finding that sweet spot where the model performs at its peak. And that's pretty much it. Setting up Waldo 3 AI, preparing your images, and running the analysis is simple and straightforward. Its versatility and robust detection capabilities make it a game changer for so many applications, from research to commercial use. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or need more guidance, feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and happy experimenting with Waldo 3 AI. H.